Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, we're here. It is the last day of the year. Um, it's a Sunday. We just came back from church. We have the concante drying. This is cassava. Yep, we got peppers we need to harvest and other things in the garden. Giving you a quick tour and a quick update because we have a lot going on and we'll be going to church tonight, the Lord willing to pray in the new year. So um, this is just going to be a quick update video, not a whole lot um, new going on. The dogs are here. Nana's going to give them water again because every time, as soon as you give them water, they spill it, except Wisdom. Well, Wisdom already spilled his, but he doesn't spill his every single time, but they, the others do, so we're going to come up with a different solution for that. But here, aha, uh -huh, I see even the sour sop, the branch is broken for some reason. I don't know how that happened, but we have some... Uh, Oh, there it is. Can you guys see that one? Mm-hmm. Right in behind the leaf there. So we're also watching some of the little ones and then I saw it and then it becomes difficult for me to find again. So hopefully they're still there. We're looking around though, so if they do end up being fruit, we'll see it. So there is another one. We have some at the top, but when the sun is up like this, it's hard to for me to get um, my eye on it because the sun is very bright. So that's what's going on here. We just got home, like I said, and I'm gonna go down and check out the animals, make sure everybody's good, probably fill up the little waters for the big animals. We had the sheep out here this morning while well, my husband did and let them um, eat this grass a little bit because it's kind of tall. So we'll probably be doing that also to give them another place to eat. Um, yeah, so I have to come and pick the eggs. Big Mama, always here by the gate. Sister's over there too. <laughs> the geese, enjoying the water. So that's what's going on. Sister got to where she jumps up now. <laughs> she just jumped from there, jumped to me. So that's what's going on. It's hot out here, guys. It's it's really, really hot. So that's why you don't see them right out here or running out because it's pretty hot. We got some of them underneath. Mama and the babies are under there. Hey, Mama. Is that another Mama? Hey, Mamas. Hey, Mama. <laughs> The sheepies want to go out the past year. It's not time for them. Baby, or sister, sister. This is sister, sister. That's baby sister, the black one. Who's actually changing color now. So, we're really not having any more eggs laid in this house. It's kind of getting old, so we'll have to see what we're going to do with that. Mama's there. There's her baby. And we'll take a look over here. Okay, she's not on all the eggs. It seems like she pushed a couple out. Maybe she knows they're not going to hatch. We'll keep our eye on that anyway and see how that goes. So, these ladies have not laid yet. 
They're still over there quarantined. Mister is here. And, yep, they're starting to wander out now, guys, because I'm out here. So, I should have checked up here, make sure everything's okay up here in the house. Yep, big boy's good. I didn't see him poking his head out over here like he normally does, so I just wanted to check it out. Sometimes they get stuck in the other pen or something like that. So I just want to make sure he's good, and he is. The ladies are doing good here. I see they gave me an egg out there. Right, let's see if I can show it to you. Right there, you see it? <laughs> So, I'm going to go and pick their eggs and see how many they have. Um, the new thing I've been doing with them the last couple of days, and I'll have to keep it up for a while to see if it's really going to help. I'll tell you guys while I'm filling this water up. Um, what I have been doing is coming down here at like 4.15 in the morning. It's still very dark, and I have been turning the light on, and I have been turning the light, sorry guys, I was looking at what was floating up there in the sky. I have been turning the light on and feeding them. So by 4.30, they've all, all of these chickens in here have been fed. Um, I haven't done it with the, the ones I have over here in the sick bay yet. I did it the first day. The second day, I didn't. So I don't know how I'm going to do those. But I do know that the 300 over here, I don't know where that came from. The 300 over here. Um, and the 16, I am definitely doing that with, I don't know how long I will do it for, but my theory on that, and the way I came up with this is I ran across it when I was trying to look up how to get the chickens to lay more eggs or what can cause them not to lay so much. So... Um, and there are several on the ground. We can go in here and take a little look around, guys. So what I found was that the longer the daylight hours, the more they lay. Or I can encourage them to lay more. So with that being said, here we just get about 12. Normally it's 12. Pretty much all the time, 12 hours. So... <clears throat> What I decided to do was add a couple of hours to that by doing it at um, 4.30. So that will give them two more hours to lay. And we'll see how that does. Because normally by the time we get out here and down here and you know, change the boots, and I actually put the food in the feeders. It's normally about 6.30. So if I'm done filling the feeders by 4.30, that gives them two extra hours of light. And you see we have the lights here. We have the lights. So I just turn the, flip the switch, turn the lights on, and then come in here and feed them. Now that's all I do, I feed them. Because in the afternoon, we fill up all their drinkers. I did add one drinker. They seem to like to drink from this one too. I added one. I don't know if we'll keep that in all the time or not, but I did add one drinker. Um, I added one drinker because we were gonna be gone a little bit longer than expected. 
and I wanted to make sure they had their water. So, yeah. So that's what is going on. That's my theory that maybe if I give them two hours more daylight or light, it's not daylight, but it's light, two hours more light, then they will be able to um, lay more eggs. So we're working on that. I'll let you guys know. It'll be a while before I can really tell if it's going to make a difference. Their egg production has gone up. There are quite a few eggs in here now. I'm not sure what that's actually going to look like. I did not obviously pick the eggs because we went to church. But you see, there's a lot of eggs in here. So I was going to end the video in here, but I think what I'll do is I'll pick the eggs. And um, you see, we have this one here. We have another one on the floor over there. We have some in the little boxes, one on top. So they've really been laying a lot. So I will pick these eggs and then I'll be right back and tell you guys the, what we got. Okay, so here we have it. This is what I picked up just now. So it ends up being 156. Last Sunday, Excuse me, mister. Last Sunday, I picked 177 when we came home from church, but I'm not sure exactly what time it, it was. So the timing could be different um, this Sunday and last Sunday. I think we got out a little early today. It's 1.20. So 1.20 in the afternoon. So I got 156 eggs. I'll sort them here and um, prepare them. I don't pick the eggs from that cage right now. Um, that one gets done at 4.30 when I come to pick the eggs from here again. So I did find <coughs> eggs in a different place. You see them, they're very active now. They're moving around, they're eating, they're drinking, they're laying. <coughs> So, we have one over here, too. Excuse you, mister. <laughs> so, that's what's going on. Um, an update on the chicks, guys. The... I do not see the other little chick, so I'm guessing the hawk got that one, too. Yep. So that is the sad news about the chicks. Like I said, unless we put a net across the whole place, you know, we're going to run into that problem probably with the baby chicks. And the other alternative is keep them in the cage till they grow up more. And it's more healthy for them to be outside. So I don't know. I don't know the solution for all of that right now, but we'll see. I think we're just going to let it be as it is for now. Everybody's out there. So that is the situation with the eggs, with the egg production. They've already laid some in there. Um, that's what's going on with the production. That is something I'm trying in case you guys are looking into poultry um egg production yourselves you can follow along and we'll see what the results are just something i'm trying look at mama and the two babies new baby uh this one's about seven and a half months old and this one is uh maybe almost it'll be two weeks soon mm-hmm so that's what we got going on here at the mini farm today. I'm going to go and sort those eggs. Um, we haven't eaten since we got home. Literally, all I did was change and come down here. So that's what goes on on Sundays when we go to church and we come back. 
or anytime we have something we have to do when we come back i change immediately and come down here and check on the animals um, make sure everybody has water nana has been taking care of the dogs for me so that is his responsibility so he went and make sure the dogs have water and yeah check on them make sure everything's good um yeah so that's what we got going on today follow along and you guys can see the results and until next time god bless you